Hey, I'm Pastor Ryan sharing with you the verse of the day. And today I want to talk to you about how to live a blessed life. Now, nobody doesn't desire to be blessed by God. And Revelation chapter 1 verse 3 says, Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear it and take it to heart that is written in it, because the time is near. And here, John, writing in Revelation chapter 1, talks about how the person who reads it, hears it, and does it is the person that is blessed. Now this is primarily talking about the book of Revelation, which is the end time. And it's interesting, the only book in the Bible that says there's a blessing from reading it is the book of Revelation. And many times we don't read the book of Revelation because it's hard to understand and it may sound a little creepy the first couple of times you read it. However, I think that we could take this biblical concept and apply it to the totality of the Christian life. Meaning that anytime that scripture saturates our life, we will be blessed. Listen, if you want to have a great marriage, understand the thoughts and the counsel of God in your life to help you to receive that blessing. If you follow scriptural teachings about love, marriage, family, and relationship, your marriage and your life is going to be enriched. In your business, if you study the concepts laid out in the Word of God related to finance and business and having a job, your life is going to be blessed. If your personal life is lived through the lens of Scripture, your life is going to be blessed. So here's what this means. Every single day we need the Word of God in our heart and in our life. We shouldn't be able to go one day without the Word of God penetrating our hearts and inspiring our spirits and giving us vision and perspective on the things of God. And listen, a Scripture-centered life is a blessed life. And that's what God wants for you. So today, let's heed the words of Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Let's be the people that hear the word of God, that read the word of God, and who act wholeheartedly on the things that God has laid out before us.